Hi, it's time to get some work done. Now, I didn't turn on the grid yet, so let's do that right away. And um, I can see that ugly in-game fence. We don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to turn that off using Belgabor's Invisible Doodads. Did I put that in the description last video? I don't know if I did that. Uh, I should probably still do that, or at least do that for this video again. But once again, this is just finishing off small things for the pirate ship. It obviously needs some path covers right now. Uh, I don't think this is going to be too much of a problem, however it does seem like I do want the middle to at least be somewhat flattened out. Because if you use terraforming for the path, then of course you do want your ground to be somewhat flat. Okay, so I feel like this texture would probably be decent for the middle here. Yeah, that's good enough. So I'm just going to put this over here and do sidewalks on the sides. I don't know why, that just seems like a cool idea to me. Really, once again, this is just a very simple ride, just to have something on the side. And just because I am a perfectionist, I like to have everything finished and don't want to leave any weird looking things anywhere. Of course you're free to do that if you want to, because you are probably not going to see these paths in any video or any picture for that matter, so it's really not that important. I'm just a perfectionist, so yeah, that's that's just me. So let's see. By the way, I am using Dutcher's paths for this, but uh, it seems I'm using the wrong piece here, so that's not really good. It should be a quarter piece, quarter inner, I think. Yup, it is. The only thing to keep in mind while using this set is that it's got the inner and outer pieces reversed. When you compare it to Shy Guy's sets or Brian's sets, for example, inner is considered the piece of when you have a curve, it's like the inner piece, so the smallest part of the curve, but this is the outside of the curve is considered the inner piece because it's inner of the path, but it's kind of outer of the curve. I, I it's, it's weird to explain. I, I suck at explaining things. But basically, it's reverse. That's all you need to know. Now, something about this set, it's, it's a set that I rarely see people using, but it's a great set in terms of how flexible it is, and it's got amazing textures. The only thing that's wrong with it, or at least somewhat wrong with it, in my opinion, is it's not that user friendly. Thanks, well, that is partly also thanks to the fact that it just has so many pieces in it. But of course, it's also somewhat unclear. So if you're not very experienced with the set, it can be kind of hard to work with it. Of course, once you've worked with it for a, for a while, yeah, quite a while, you'll get used to it and it'll become somewhat more easy. But really, it's not that easy to use. So for beginners, I would not recommend this set at all. But it's really flexible. It's got stairs in it and weird curves and sloped curves and pretty much anything you can think of is probably in this set. So most of the times I use this set when I just have a general area where I want to do something and other sets don't have the pieces that I need. For example, I think I used this set for the stairs in Verona Valley. There was the part of um, Croatia um, that was terrible. Croatia. I, I can't even pronounce that. Wow. And that had... Yeah. I had to use this set for it because they they were stairs and they were curved and had different kinds of slopes. So for that kind of thing, you'd want to have a flexible set. But really for other things, I wouldn't really recommend using this. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to have to fill in these quarters. Now obviously there is a quarter one and a quarter two because as you might notice the textures are slightly different but the texture is so small that I don't think it really matters. It's just a waste of time if you try to change them so I usually just rotate one piece instead of clicking on the other one just to have it entirely perfect. And this was a dumb idea because I have this thing on the side here anyway, so why would I make a curve over there? Come on. Delete that. Come on, you. What is this? Thank you. Oh, damn. I need to get this over with. Okay, so small little queue kind of thing. I don't, that queue is probably too small, especially considering the size of this, of this pirate ship. Oh, well, whatever. I'm just going for it. Uh, so first of all, we do of course want some turn styles, so let's see, station gyms, random things once again because that set is amazing. And it's got some cool coaster, well these are coaster gates. Though they would arguably not work over here because they're coaster gates. That makes no sense. Oh yeah, a maintenance box is something that I would need though. Just for that little detail. 
but I'm looking for the turnstiles. Here we go. Would this work? Hmm, there's probably too many of them. Like, three turnstiles for one pirate ship. Oh well, I'm just going for it. Screw the rules. I have green hair. And some turnstiles at the end of this. There we go. That should do. And then, of course, we need some coast gates, but, but before I place some small fences over here, so I think I'm just going to use small, well, some random fencing for that. Really, I have no clue why. This is just one other part of the tutorial where I can't really explain anything. It's just me doing what I like to do and what I feel like doing on this particular coaster. So, of course, I'll try to give tips along the way, but I don't know everything, honestly, and I can't say anything about well I can't say everything about everything there are just some parts in making a coaster and making a general well surrounding of that coaster that you just can't say too much about okay so now it's part for it's it's time for coaster Joe's uh, what's that set called again coaster Joe's queue line fences oh I love this thing I remember that I used to have huge problems with this in my let's play simply because I wouldn't know how to work with this set even though it's a very easy set but it's just something that I usually use to add a fast pass but in this case I kind of want to use it to keep the line as a line and not have the line be too chaotic so I kind of like the places in the middle I don't know if it's too realistic but I always like to do it and with the roller coasters this is always something you can get away with because fast passes but nobody's gonna get a fast pass for a pirate ship Okay, let's see. I think it's uh, pretty much time for general path shenanigans. Yeah, just some small fix fixing up things before I head into foliage. So, first of all, adding a little border around this thing. And, yup, that fits. That's great. Because something else to note is I am not sure if it has it in this thing too. I think it does. Like, yeah, it, it has the shy curves. Because something that you should note is that different sets use, use different kinds of curves. Now, this set um, just so happens to use this kind of curve, where it actually just had um, two sides for a quarter curve and stuff like that. But um, especially in this set, you have the shy, which would be... Uh, these things fit with shy guys, well, things in general, yeah. I'm pretty sure and there are some other pieces which go with other sets and I just realized that I didn't place my hand on my laptop looping that was a terrible idea I'm sorry for that this it actually works it actually looks a bit better because it's more round honestly I think I'm just gonna go with that it's not really a quarter curve but it's effectively the same thing so it doesn't really matter I should not forget to place my hand on my laptop I should also not forget to buy a new PC because basically the position that I'm in right now is actually I've actually gathered enough money at this point because of my recent birthday and all that and I still haven't actually went ahead and bought the computer and if I if I have some money to save I'm going to buy a microphone as well because I do want some at least decent professional quality and I kind of subtly promised people that I would actually uh, I don't earn that much YouTube money obviously because I'm just a small roller coaster tycoon 3 um, person but since it's my major hobby I would return all of the YouTube money that I earn uh, for at least or, or at least for the time being that I'm such a small channel into my um, YouTube hobby so I would buy a new laptop and a new microphone and all that to play Rollercoaster Second 3 and actually be able to make higher quality videos. So I kind of want to go for that. Plus it's better for Rollercoaster Second 3 in general because higher, gra better graphics and all that. Okay, so I don't know if I did anything with the paths. No, I did not. Something that I like to do sometimes with paths is that I like to add a small dark border. And yes, I know I'm all over the place in this episode. It's just because there uh, are many small things that I need to address. So what you kind of get now is, I'll turn off the grid so it's easier to see it. It's a very subtle change, but you might have been able to see it in my videos. You kind of get that dark little border around the sidewalk. And I don't know exactly why idea of 
more depth and more shadow in general and it kind of creates an illusion of ambient occlusion sometimes and ambient occlusion looks great in games I wish I had it uh, I don't but it looks cool so at least for the time being I can kind of make it look like I do have it using this neat little trick so that's why I always like to do this now if I'm not mistaken I use this kind of sand and nope I did not apparently oh wait yes I did okay cool and over here is where the terraforming is not that smooth anymore so I'm gonna have to stop it there but that still looks pretty cool and uh, now I kinda want to add that over here as well but just on this side because I don't want to have too much stuff of that going on because otherwise it won't blend nicely anymore really this path is too narrow to actually do this thing on both sides and especially on the diagonals it, it, this is something that works with straight pieces but it's a bit harder with diagonals but it's a very subtle change but I think you can kind of see it you can kind of see how the border around this is just a little bit more dark and not only does it kind of create a sense of shadow on it it also just um, makes the path look fancier really just because there's more different kinds of textures on it it just makes it look more interesting and does this even work mm, too close to say that yeah let's see can I add this over here yeah I can do that I'm not too sure about this but I think I'll just go for it uh... yeah this looks pretty cool now I do want to add it over here as well though because there's enough space for that so might as well okay so neat now especially over here you can really see that it kind of changed the way that the path looked so that's pretty cool now I also feel like I want to have some planters over here but first I want to add some lights I think so or not adding planters is probably more important yeah you should probably add planters first so I'm gonna do that right now okay let's see this is also this is always something that you kind of have to experiment with I never really know what to do with this uh, I think I'm just gonna go with station gyms gardening things because they're beautiful these things are absolutely beautiful at least in my opinion of course uh, let's see and I think it yeah it, it is higher than the little border so that's good so I can place it like that and it has the exact same placement as everything in station gyms gardening so you don't have to worry about the placement which used to be the case in the old days you would always have to watch out with your planters uh, if a tree could actually fit in it so what you usually do is you'd place a tree first and then the planter but these days we have the luxury of actually being able to place the planters down first so might as well um, let's see are they kind of evenly spaced out yeah I think so kind of want the fountain to be visible too though but uh, that's pretty okay so we don't want to have this thing go through the soil uh, it's kind of going through the soil here, but it's not too much of a problem. I don't really care. And yeah, that's pretty much it for those planters. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to put in these things? Um, I'm just going to get Station Gyms Gardening. To oh, God. I'm going to forget about some of these sets. I'm going to try to put them in the description, but knowing me, I'm probably going to forget about something. So if you kind of wanted to get something and I didn't put it in the description you can always leave a comment and I'll update the description and send a link um, these things are kind of cool but they're, they're blocking the view like we had such an epic view going but these trees are just slightly too big so out with those things now there's some other tree that I might want to try it's the paper birch it's kind of small yeah, I think I'll go for this. Though, honestly, since we're on a somewhat tropical thing, but I don't think that that actually has the corner placement, I might actually not be able to get the placement right for this. Oh god, that would that would be terrible. There is, of course, there is the quarter piece, but that doesn't work out. Or would it? It would actually, but there's no quarter piece normal palm tree. Oh god. Well then, that sucks. Never mind. Station Gym's gardening then. 
Well, we can always place a cherry brush. I always like to use this thing, simply because it's somewhat small, but it also looks nice. Okay, let's see. Does that look okay? Hmm. That might just look too empty. Looks very modern though, like it was just built, which is also something that I'm trying to go for. But this all this almost makes this almost makes me feel like they're too spaced out. They might be. But I think I'm just gonna just gonna go for it. I'll I'll judge it when I make all of the foliage because once again you can't probably judge the way a park looks without all the foliage being built because foliage really makes a lot of difference, yeah. Hmm. Now I, I, I think that I'll add the lights now, but I do want another bench over here. And before I forget that I'm just going to finish I think I'm just going to use the same benches. Honestly, I don't know how real life parks do that. Whether they use the same benches throughout this throughout the park. I think they use a couple of different ones, but also some of the same throughout the park or at least a general area. So I feel pretty safe doing this. Oh god. Now of course I forgot to place these uh replace these things last time. So well damn, I'm doing this again right now. Well I'm not going to place any that any anywhere, so Let's see, that looks pretty decent, yeah. Honestly, I can't even remember where I placed them last time. I think I placed some over here, I might have. And one over here, and... Of course some over here, because people are going to have to look at the roller coaster. They're going to have to do that, they're going to have to sit down over there. Just sucks. That's a lot better. And there we go. Nice. And now I should also place some bins. Uh, and let's see. We don't want any of these. This is the one that I want. Beautiful. Yeah, that'll do. You don't need too many of them. And very important, lights. When it comes to pathworks, lights are just so important. Like, of course, you shouldn't forget them, but uh, you should also realize that light can really change the appearance of a path in general. And getting nice lights that kind of go with the theme is something pretty important. And this is probably an abundance of lights, so I'm going to remove that one, I think. Though, I did place a lot of lights over there in that general area. Oh well. Let's see. I kind of feel like... These, the Vote Heens Lights Kit, I think it was from... No, it wasn't from this one. It was from 2008. Yeah, this one. I think I used this... Yeah, I used this in Verona Valley as well. I don't know why, I just love this particular lamp. And... I don't know if I want to place it on the fence or not. Because... One of the advantages of placing your lamps on fences is that they're not going to be in the way of the path, but they're also going to be further away from the path itself, from like the center of the path. But I feel like this path is narrow enough to pull that off, but if you have a path with sidewalks, like for example this area, I always like to place them kind of in the middle of the sidewalks. And if this path were even wider than it than it is right now, I would have probably placed the lamps on the borders of the sidewalks to be sure, to be sure that every single bit of the path actually gets some light. Okay, so it seems that this area of the path is just going to have some special lamps, so that's really cool. And uh, now these is these are one of my favorite boulevard lamps, so I'm just going to use them over here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And one over there. And I think that's finished now. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I think it works a, li a bit better with the trees too now. And of course I'm just going to put some lamps over here because this area is not very lighted at the moment. Like that. Yeah. And the queue line probably wants some too, but I feel like the queue line should probably have some different kinds of lamps. These parkway lamps are actually somewhat 
good for this kind of thing because they have wood and all that. So I think I'll go for this. Let's see, can I lower this? Good. Okay, nice. Come on, mate. This is somewhat annoying. Really, I don't think there's any way of getting around that. It's just an annoying placement. Hmm. This will probably do, actually. Don't want to overlight the area. Okay, what's this? Okay, there we go. And I kind of want to place the, uh, some lights on this side, too. Oh, that was already very low. Oh well. That seems good. However, it's not symmetrical, and it needs to be symmetrical. So here we go again. Oh god, this is this is absolutely awful. Come on, come on, you can do it. You can do it. I have faith in you. Oh, I, I had it. I had it for a split second. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. And I think that this area is pretty much finished at this point. Now, of course, I do want to kind of add something else. Something extra. What we need is some palm trees to get in that sort of subtropical mood. That's what I'd say. So, it's time for some small regular palms. I don't know. Some palm trees around the uh, around the pirate ship. Might as well. Honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Hmm. Kind of like that. Except they're kind of too big. Yeah, definitely. That's way too big. And that's still probably too big. Hmm. I think I'll do it like that. Why not? Uh, let's see. I kind of want to have a small one. Please give me a small one. There we go. Thank you. Would that look okay? I guess so. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like, as cliche as they may be, the combination of palm trees and a pirate ship is just good because of many obvious reasons. The fact that pirates just like to be in the tropical areas, or at least according to the cliches. So we're just going to follow that because we're just a simple theme park. And I don't know what kind of planters I should use for this. Probably just going to use the same ones. Just because they're that awesome. Plus they're pretty big. So they're realistic in that sense. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. So I think this area is pretty much finished at this point. However, I do need to finish this little fence over here. Because that doesn't look very good. Uh, let's see, that's from Station Gym's fencing. And of course it's important to get the color scheme right. It seems to be green on top and the rest is just the rest is just brown. Okay. Good. And I think that's just a full straight piece. Where's that full straight piece? There we go. Ah, very nice. So when it comes to path work, I think that's pretty much finished. Or at least this area is now. Might add some benches around fountains. I always like to add benches around fountains or even flowers in some cases. So might want to mess around with that. But I'll do that in a later stage when I round everything up. And of course I'm going to have to finish this area and add some things to that. And then it's pretty much foliage time and time to finish the ride. So once again we're kind of nearing the end here. So that's really awesome. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and hope you've learned something even though this was kind of a useless episode in which I kind of just had to finish things that you always just need to get around finishing. So uh, whatever. See you, see you all in the next episode. So till then.